First of all, we, we live in a world where we're inundated by alerts and notifications. We're getting alert, alerted by all of our applications. I'm, you know, we're getting alerted by uh, our build systems, by our, by our metric systems, and so on. And it's hard to make sense of what the signal is from the noise. What do we respond to? What action do we take? And to help, uh, Sentry has taken what is, uh, what is the issues list and which is the traditional view that you know and love and at, added a new view in this, which is the review list. This is the only list that you need to look at. So what's, what's the difference? Well, the, the issues list is going to show me everything that's going on within my projects, right? And when I go into review, we're going to focus now like, like a laser, like I'm putting on uh, noise canceling headphones and only focus on issues that I care about, I need to look at. And what are these issues? These are issues that are new. These are issues that were fixed, but have come back. These are regression issues, right? These are issues that were ignored, but for, for whatever reasons, what, whatever setting that I had, they have come back and, and respawned from the dead, like some kind of whack-a-mole game and become you know, something that I need to be aware of again. And to make life easier to manage these things, we've added this view and some search capabilities so you can find what you're looking for and what you're responsible for. So you'll notice my review list uh, has this search, which, which is always something that's available to you within the product. And it's, it's saying, hey, th these are issues that are for review, and these are issues that are assigned or suggested to me or nobody. And, and so now I'm, I went from having 52 issues within my projects that I care about down to eight for me to do accomplish in the triage.